Use lists establish process scales for inventory items. These codes are linked with items and ultimately customs to determine item pricing. Choices entered here become the defaults when establishing specific prices for specific items. Creating multiple price list codes is usually associated with different customer types such as wholesale and retail or customers using different currencies. For example, let's look at the retail price list. For each price list code, an item can be based on quantity or weight. A price can track up to six decimal places. The sale price for items linked to this price list can be determined by a discount off the base price or various markup factors from the stored cost value of the item. Then determine discounts by percentage or float amount. And then determine the price of all that based on the customer's discount type identified with the customer and accounts receivable types A through E or by the new discounts referring to quantities customers purchase at one time. Depending on the selections above, either enter the customer A through E discount percentages or the quality purchase discount levels. The price check tab determines how order entry is to respond when a price is entered that is above or below a set value. Then indicates that a price range is not going to be established and that anyone can enter any price for any item using this price list. Normally indicates that a normal displays when a price is outside the normal or maximum values, but the price can still be accepted. Error indicates that an error message displays when a price is outside the normal or maximum values. Using this option, the entered price is not accepted. And approval indicates that a message displays when the price is outside the normal or maximum values, except the price can be approved by someone who has the appropriate security rights to accept the price. If warning, error, or approval is selected, then determine how the system is to perform the check. The price check can be performed based on the unit price or sales margin of the item. If unit price is selected, for example, then check the base price using a cost plus percentage, cost plus a fixed amount, or just a fixed amount. If either cost plus percent or amount is selected, select which cost value to use as the base. Then indicate the final two range. The default user indicates everyone. Different users can maintain different minimum and maximum ranges by entering the user ID here. The settings defined for a price check become the defaults when this price list code is assigned to an item. However, changes can be made on an item-by-item -item basis. The taxes page is used to identify those tax authorities that have the tax amount included in the price of the item. As will be seen later, items are assigned to price list codes. When you are, you instruct the system as to what base price to use. For example, you might want item X to be $5 when linked to the retail price list. If you identify a tax authority on the price list taxes page here, what you are saying is that the tax amount is factored from the $5 price and will need to be backed out of the price when a taxable customer purchases it. The item remains at $5 total, including tax. Fuel is an example of this type of item. The taxes are already factored in the amount when you purchase. Therefore, tax authorities only need to be listed on this page if tax is factored into the price of the items that are assigned to this price list code. For most items, the tax on the item is calculated from the price of the item and not backed out of the price. However, there are exceptions. Again, items such as petroleum and cigarettes include taxes regardless of who purchases them.